Why is Greenland called Greenland when it's mostly ice and Iceland called Iceland when it's mostly green? Well, the answer is history, climate and one of the earliest scams in human history. Let me explain. Let's start with Iceland. Iceland was named around the 9th century by Norse settlers sailing west across the North Atlantic. When they arrived, they didn't see the lush landscapes and volcanic tourism ads we see today. No, they were welcomed with drifting sea ice, brutal winters, cold, exposed coastlines. And quite naturally, they named it Iceland because it looked icy. And it was called this to warn people of the harsh conditions that this island had. However, Iceland does sit on the path of the North Atlantic currents, which means its coasts are far milder than you'd expect for this latitude. Today, Iceland has green valleys, farmland, forests slowly returning, and volcanoes erupting under glaciers. The cold name, well, in reality, it's far greener. Now let's talk about one of the earliest scams in human history. Some would call it fake news because this one was deliberate. See, Greenland was named by Eric the Red around the year 982. And Eric didn't just discover Greenland, he was exiled from Iceland for killing people during a violent feud. Now in Viking society, exile wasn't a slap on the wrist, it was survival mode. So Eric sailed west and he found a huge icy land and realized that no one was moving there unless it sounded appealing. So he called it Greenland. But he wasn't completely lying. See, at that time, the Earth was in the medieval warm period. Southern Greenland had ice-free fjords, summer grasslands, and enough pasture for sheep and cattle. Norse farms survived there for centuries. As the Earth cooled into the Little Ice Age, glaciers advanced, growing seasons collapsed, and those settlements slowly disappeared. But if we fast forward to now, and this is where it stops being history, Greenland has now lost ice for 29 consecutive years. That's almost three decades of continuous loss, long enough for scientists to call it a new normal, not a natural variation. In the most recent mass balance year alone, Greenland lost between 105 to 120 billion tons of ice, and it's not slowing down. Greenland is melting at about seven times faster than it was in the 1990s, and it is currently the single largest contributor to global sea level rise. The irony is Iceland is greener than its name and Greenland is icier than its name, but for the first time in a thousand years, Greenland might actually start living up to its name. And if that happens, it won't be a fun historical coincidence. If you like this content, I'm Mr. Earth Guy and I'll see you in the next video.